Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse and I am back for something a little bit different for you today. It's not a game, it's not a hardware review, it's not even really an assistive technology uh, overview per se. Instead, I want to show you guys a pretty cool um, assistive technology training resource. It is totally free. Um, I heard about it through the Blind Abilities podcast originally. And it's also been circulating through email in a couple different places through my day job. And we are looking at a website through the California School for the Blind. And it is SRT. It's basically a screen reader training curriculum. I will put a link in the description of uh, below where you can check it out for yourself. And this is pretty neat. It is a website. It's a very simple, straightforward website that is meant for um, maybe you're a new screen reader user and really need to get up to speed and kind of have a self-paced option to learn your screen reader. Maybe, you're, uh, maybe you've been using a screen reader for a while, but you need to brush up on your skills, get a little bit more of the advanced stuff going. Maybe you have used your uh, mobile screen readers and want to use the computer or vice versa. You've used the computer, but really need to get into mobile. Um, Maybe you are a teacher, a friend, a family member, and you have a friend who could really benefit from using a screen reader. And this could be something where, you know, again, you could use this as a, a way to work with if you're working with a student. Um, you know, it's for assistive technology trainers, professionals as well, you know, or just somebody who wants to help another person learn to use a screen reader. Uh, because if you are blind or low vision, I mean, I have some usable vision. I use a screen reader a lot, almost, pre well, pre every day. I do use it every day. And uh, like I said, this, this website is free, and <clears throat> it's pretty cool. I've played with, uh, I've gone through a couple of the NVDA lessons um, just to see how the, web how the website is structured, how it works. Um, I've also taken a little bit of a look at the voiceover section. Now... They do recommend, um, depending on what device you're using and what screen reader you are using, they recommend open this website on the device you intend to use uh, for the screen reader training. So if you want to learn voiceover, open this website on your iPhone or iPad. Uh, if you want to open it on the Mac using their voiceover, do that uh, and then go to that section. Same thing with JAWS or NVDA. I'm using NVDA right now on my computer here. so. That is what we are going to poke at first. Um, and before we get going, um, like I said, I'm just going to give you kind of an overview of what this site is. But what I will say is if you are very new to uh, using a screen reader and you, you know, you're know you like, oh, well, how am I going to navigate this website when I don't even know how to use a screen reader? And that is definitely a fair question. Um, you probably will want to have somebody, either a friend, a family member, somebody sighted to kind of help you get started, or, um, you know, another screen reader user that can kind of help guide you, or maybe you, you know, maybe if you have access to some sort of assistive technology training, be it through um, an ATB center, adjustment to blindness training center, or um, through vocational rehabilitation, if you're working to get some technology training skills, whatever it happens to be, through school, uh, somewhere in the disability services office in college, whatever it happens to be. Um, this is meant to be a pretty good self-paced training option. Um, but you might want to, you know, maybe for the first uh, lesson or two, have somebody just kind of with you to be like, oh, you know, th these are the keys. Because the, the website does a really good job of like, we're going to give you a little bit of info up front. Um, and then we're going to back up from the very beginning and be like, okay, now you know how to do that. Now you can use the website. We're going to start by just using the arrow keys and the enter key. Then you're going to start using tab. Then you're going to start using, um, some other keys and they, they gradually, you know, introduce things and they keep it pretty informal. So we are on the main page right now and I'm just going to go to the top of the page here. One, link skip to main content. So we've got a skip to main content link. And again, they recommend using that link because, again, if you don't know how to use a screen reader and you want to jump past all the navigation stuff on the left, every you don't want to have to go through that every time, that will shift your focus to the body of the page. But once you learn how to navigate, 
say using the headings navigation, then you will be able to just skip past that and not worry about the the um, navigation link. So list with seven items visited link voiceover. So we got voiceover. We'll go into that in a little bit as well. Link jaws. Jaws. So these are the areas of training that you can uh, participate in. Remember, all this is free, uh, and it, and they and they say right on the main page, it's also being continually updated. So if there's like a major feature added or something that's really really helpful, um, this is a working web, you know working document, uh, living website. So you know they come back later, you know a new version of NVDA comes out or a new version of of iOS comes out and VoiceOver has been improved. Um, they may add another lesson, so keep checking back. Link Chromevox. Chromevox? That would even probably be helpful to me because that's... I'm, I'm, I'm not well versed in Chromevox, I admit. Visited Link NVDA. NVDA, we're going to go there in a moment. Link Game Portal. Game Portal. I haven't even been in here, but, you know, again, that's something once you start learning how to use your screen reader and you feel comfortable with the basics... You know, um, a good way to keep practicing that is to do something fun, whether it's, you know, you like writing, you like reading, maybe you want to play some simple games. I don't even know what's in here. We might check that out and just see what they have. Um, you know, but it's a good way, you know, people say gaming is a waste of time, and I completely disagree um, because it's a great way where you can practice the skills that you've learned in a fun rather than a boring way. Visited link about SRT. We got an about, SRT, link contact CSB, and SRT, a contact, list main landmark and there we go. So let's go back up to link NVDA. NVDA. NVDA training introduction. And I have NVDA, NVDA running in here, so we're going to just jump to the beginning here. Main landmark, welcome to the NVDA for Windows training page heading level 2. Now I'm just, I'm going to let it read for a bit. Heading level 2, welcome to the NVDA for Windows training page. This is the place to learn how to use your Windows device with the NVDA screen reader. Heading level 2 materials and setup. You will need a laptop or desktop running NVDA in its full capacity. Note that NVDA is a free screen reader. If you yep. wish to alter any preferences to NVDA prior to starting this course, the preferences menu can be reached by pressing either insert plus N or caps lock plus N. So I'm going to pause it there. A couple minor little things. Um, one one sentence that I would maybe add is I would leave a, after it says, yeah, this is a free screen reader. Maybe add a comma and say, and it can be downloaded from the NVDA page here. And then <clears throat> that link could open to a new window or a new tab so that people can just go right to that NVDA download page. And again, this is where, you know, if you're, if you're not, uh, if you're new to a screen reader, have another experienced screen reader with you or have your trainer, teacher, or have a sighted friend who can, you know, get the, um, get the the get your screen reader installed for you because um, it's very easy you just download it you install it you agree to the license agreement and say yep install it boom you know it's pretty self-explanatory um and then they tell you um, if you wish to alter any preferences to yeah so if you if you wish to alter any preferences now again you may not know how to even if you if you're new to a screen reader you're not going to know how to navigate those options necessarily but it is still telling you where that is. So if you have a trainer or you have a sighted um, friend or family member with you, they can kind of at least click around and like maybe you want to speed up or slow down your voice or change the you know male to female or something. Maybe you want to make a couple other minor changes. They can kind of help you with that. And then you can come back here and, and start the lesson for real. Let's continue. Can be reached by pressing either insert plus N or caps lock plus N. Right. So depending on your if you're a desktop or laptop layout. In addition, if you are working on a laptop and wish to set your settings to reflect a laptop keyboard layout, you can access keyboard settings by pressing Control plus Insert plus K. It is in. Okay. These settings you can also select your NVDA modifier key, either Insert, Extended Insert, or Caps. Yep. Lock. Time. Lock. Am I overwhelming you yet? Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't mind me. We will get to everything in due time. So yeah, I mean, you kind of do have to be presented with this. We're not even in the lesson. This is your lesson overview screen. Um, you know, it's going to tell you what your objectives are. It's going to tell you what you need to know. Um, but, you know, there are some prerequisites that you do need. You need to have the screen reader installed and set up and running. Um, and you need to have a few basic things set up. Heading level two prerequisite skills. Familiarity and basic knowledge of the QWERTY keyboard layout. Yes, typing skills, knowing the keyboard 
if you're going to use a computer, extremely important. The sooner you learn that, the better. Uh, and again, I've covered the Typer Online tool. I've covered the Typer, the Talking Typer iOS app. So there are some free, if not very cheap, um, accessible options to learn keyboarding as well. Heading level 2 starting NVDA. To turn on NVDA you can perform the following actions. Press the Windows key, located two keys to the left of the space bar. Start typing NVDA into the search bar. That's how I usually do it. Quick series it's of piano. It's fast for me. And I like the way that they describe it, two keys in from the space bar. That seems pretty consistent because depending on whether you're on a desktop or laptop, you know, a lot of people, even myself included, I'll catch myself and be like, oh, you know, the control key is in the corner. Well, that's not necessarily true. Some keyboards, the control might, might be in the corner. Some, the uh, function key might be in the corner. Um, so, you, you, yeah, describe it in a very consistent way. And that, you know, two keys from the space bar seems to do the trick. Notes will play indicating that NVDA has started. Yep, you'll hear your little startup tone. Alternatively, you can press Alt plus Control plus N all at the same time to start NVDA. Note, to quit NVDA, press the NVDA modifier key, either insert or caps lock, plus Q. So both keys at the same time. Caution, once NVDA is on, refrain from using the mouse for navigation. Manipulation of the mouse will impact NVDA focus and can impact the experience of the NVDA user. Heading level two intended audience. So yeah, we're getting, again, that's some really good information to know for both the trainer and for the student or for the person wanting to learn. And, um, I don't know if they mentioned it because I haven't gone all the way through the training, but uh, one thing that I would say, and I like that they mentioned don't use the mouse because the point of using a screen reader is so that you are self-sufficient using the keyboard only. However, if the person has some usable vision and maybe can like see where blocks of text are on the screen or maybe even read with magnification to some degree, um, it, I wouldn't mention it here. Um, because then people will want to either will want to learn it and will want to cheat. But a later lesson, I, I, it, it might not be a bad idea to include a lesson to say, hey, if you have some remaining vision um, and you are encountering an issue where NVDA doesn't speak something, uh, you're, you're having trouble navigating to something with the keyboard or reading something with the keyboard, um, there is a benefit to using the mouse to hover over uh, items on the computer. As a low vision user, I use this a lot. Now granted, I use keyboard commands much of the time, but there are also many times where I might just, either with, with Windows Magnifier on or off, I'll just grab my mouse and I'll move my pointer over something that I see on the screen and it just reads it to me, um, which can save a lot of time. Um, you know, instead of having to try to find something, and especially in a really complicated program or website, there are also some occasions where um, one one example I like to use is in a like a, a lot of these antivirus programs are not very screen reader accessible. I'm either wanting to change something in them or even uninstall them, and a lot of those screens are just not screen reader accessible. But if I have NVDA on, uh, sometimes there will be controls that you can't navigate through with the keyboard and they don't they don't seem to be accessible but if i hover over a button or a control or even an, a block of text sometimes those will read with a screen reader where they won't via the keyboard don't know why that is but it's a thing and uh, it has saved me a few times so that might be something that they could add as kind of a later, kind of a bonus lesson to be like, hey, if you do have some usable vision, check this out. But don't mention it here because it might, it could overwhelm somebody, confuse them, or it could, it, you know, it, it could make them want to use their vision more when they probably shouldn't. So let's, I'm going to skip ahead here. So we've got our objectives. Course objectives. Heading, one last thing, heading level two. One last thing. What is that? Every time you navigate to a new page, if you move your arrow down once or twice, you will hear. NVDA say skip to main content. Ah, yes. Press enter, and you will bypass all the menu gobbledygook and the NVDA focus will move to the meat of our lesson content. 
Have fun. Right. So instead of using the heading command like I did on this page, again, if you don't know any better, if you've never used a screen reader, they're telling you a quick way to jump past all the stuff that you don't want to hear every time, and that's a good thing. So Heading level 2, okay. Let's go. Smiley face. Heading level 2 available lessons. List with 11 items bullet visited link NVDA lesson So we're going to go to lesson 1. To NVDA lesson 1. NVDA lesson 1. Intro to NVDA. And we're going to jump to it here. The basics heading level 2. Greetings NVDA users. So I'm going to let it read a little bit here and then we are going to jump around. Now it is a, it is pretty informal. Um, it's a little bit mm, conversational at the beginning. You know, it's like get to the point. But again, they're they're trying to ease somebody in um make them feel comfortable but let's just read a little bit here heading level two greetings nvda users hello hello is this thing on can you hear me okay we are great this means you have nvda loaded and we are ready to rock and roll pssst pro tip have your fingers on those arrows for this page that's how we'll be navigating through text heading level two the basics as you may have noticed everything on this page is being read out loud well that's the gist of a screen reader it reads mm -hmm. what's on the screen I promise it's not magic, unless you consider technology and untapped power at Hogwarts. Oh no, I'm getting distracted. As I was saying, screen readers. Yeah. Awesome. Reading everything. NVDA, there's a bit more to it, but one step at a time. You've made it here. So I'm guessing you've been using your down arrow. What do you think happens when you press the up arrow? Why don't you try and come back here? I'll wait. Wow, you're quick. So what happened? Yep, you heard the previous line. Now what happens if you press the right arrow? Are you reading this letter by letter? Or in other words, character by character? That's what using the right arrow does, and if you press the left arrow, you read the previous character. Heading level 3 checkpoint. Using what you've learned, can you tell me how many times you hear the letter K in the next string of nonsense? You'll need to use your left and right arrows to move through the silliness. T -k 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 what did you count? Okay, so I'm going to stop it there. This is what I like about the way they offer this training. Everything is right within the web browser. And it's not just reading. Like, yeah, they re they they give you a concept or they give you a couple of keys to learn, and then they give you right within the page they give you some exercise. Now, yeah, in some cases you can cheat, and in some ways you in some places you can't, um, because you actually have to click a link later on to get the right answer. But um, so in this case, it's wanting us how many K's are in there. Um, so, of nonsense. Okay, so T K. There's one L G K E two X K three C space E F K four space K L five W K W H A T space. Okay, then it's W H A T I D. So now I know that I'm on the next line. So it looks like we've got six to my account. Let's arrow down again. Back and repeat the activity. Otherwise, let's keep this train moving. Heading level two more work with arrows. Back, Wait, what, what did you count? If you didn't hear the letter K a total of six times, use your up arrow to go. Back and repeat the activity. All right, so Otherwise, in this case, it just told me uh, because we're very basic. Um, so in this case, yeah, it just told me, yeah, you, the number you wanted is six and that's what we counted. So yay, we passed. Um, so that one you can kind of, you know, cheat your way through or just go. But again, you don't want to. You really want to, you know, do what they tell you to do and make sure that you're right. Because later on, you will have to click a link or you'll have to hit enter on a link uh, to make a choice. Um, and you'll have to choose the right one. Heading level two, more work with arrows. Okay, more work with arrows. To review, we've learned how to read the next and previous line and the previous and next letter. But what about words or paragraphs? To read word by word, hold the control button and press the right arrow. To read the previous word, hold the control button and press the left arrow. Uh -huh. Heading level 3 checkpoint. In the following sentences there is a secret code. Can you find a hidden message? You'll need to. And this was, again, pretty clever. Navigate to the third word in each phrase. Put those oh. words together and you'll discover the secret. Okay, so we've got a series of lines or phrases. And we want, to, we want to read the third one in each one, okay? Message. List with five items bullet. I want a banana split. Okay, so... I want A. Okay, A is the first one. Bullet, this shiny penny was on this shiny penny. Okay, a penny. Bullet, they, they came for. Four, okay, but I know what this is already. Bullet is, is it your 
Yep, a penny for your, I bet you the next one is thoughts. Bullet are overwhelming, are overwhelming thoughts. Yep. Okay. Out of list, did you find a secret phrase? I did. Use your choices. Did you find a secret phrase? Use your down arrow to navigate through your choices. The answer. Choices are all links. Press enter on your answer to go to the next page. Okay, so again, here now they're like, okay, now you have to have done it because um, you need to actually do the right one. Visited link a penny for your thoughts. So yes, that is another one. What other links do we have? Link want shiny party time movie. <laughs> link a penny came turnabout. Link about CSB screen reader training website. Make link visited link a penny for your thoughts. NVDA lesson 1.1. Intro to NVDA okay, continued. Okay, let's... Heading, main landmark navigation continued heading level 2. Heading level 2, a quick review. Wait, did I? Hold on. NVDA lesson 1.1. Intro to NVDA. Link skip to main content. Heading level 2, a quick review. We've used our up and down arrows to navigate to the previous and next line. We've used our left and right arrows to navigate to the previous and next character. We've added in the control key to our left and right arrows to navigate to the previous and next word. Mm -hmm. Heading level 2, what's next? Paragraphs. How do you think we read paragraph by paragraph? Right, so... Ding, ding, ding. You got it. That pesky control button again. At least, I know you would have gotten there eventually. We use control plus down arrow to read the next paragraph, and control plus up arrow to read the previous. Right, so now it's going to have us paragraph. do another... Heading level 3, practice. Practice. Read the following short story by using control plus down arrow to navigate paragraph by paragraph. So I'm not going to go much further into this um, because I want people to go through it for themselves so they can take it at their own pace if I'm going too slow, if I'm going too fast. But what I really wanted to demonstrate here is I really wanted to really just show people that I like how everything is just right within the web page. You know, you're not having to alt tab back and forth between different apps and programs, at least right now. You know, once you start learning um, the web the web browser and everything, you probably will go on to like, oh, now you're going to go back and forth between a word processor like Google Docs or Microsoft Word or something. Like I said, I haven't gotten through all the way through the training, but that's a potential uh, possibility. But um, I like in the beginning that they keep you, they keep it straightforward, they keep it simple in the browser. But again, it's not just reading. Um, you have little exercises and drills, and they make it interactive. And uh, like I said, I went through a few more screens of this, and it was kind of neat because it was like, okay, we're, you have to do a series of commands, and they, they layer on each other. So it's like, okay, on this step, I want you to, to find the second character. And then on this step, I want you to find the fourth word. And then on this step, I want you to see what's on the, this line. And you have to kind of piece things together, to, you know, to make a code or to solve some sort of answer to a question. Um, so it's not like it's something that you kind of have to be able, you have to do in order to get the right answer. So I, I like the interactive nature while still keeping it simple. It's a pretty nice touch. So let me go Heading ahead. Level one NVDA lesson 1.1. Intro to end. Visited link. Skip to main content. List with four items. Visited link. SRT home. Let's go SRT, SRT home. Screen reader. And I want to go into. List with seven items. Link game portal. Visited link voiceover. Out of list. List with seven items. Visited so we're going to go voiceover. voiceover because I just want to show you a little bit of this as well. Now again, I would not typically open this on the computer. Again, they're going to want you to open this on your phone or tablet. Using voiceover on. But what we do have is Heading level one using voiceover let me go to on the top again link here. Skip to main list with four items visited link voiceover on iOS. Voiceover on iOS. Link voiceover on Mac. And they do have a voiceover on Mac. So yes, uh, they do have subsections uh, because voiceover on Mac is different from voiceover on your iOS device. Uh, there are similar things that carry over, but again, one you're going to use primarily swipe gestures, touch gestures for. And the other one, you're going to use a keyboard. But there are you, they cover using a keyboard as well. Visited link voiceover on so let's iOS. go to iOS. Using voiceover on iOS. Getting ready. Heading level one voiceover on iOS. Getting ready. Link okay, let's to main go content. ahead and... Main landmark, welcome to the iOS voiceover page. And I'm just going to let Heading it read for two. a minute again. Heading level two, welcome to the iOS voiceover page. This is the place to learn how to use your iOS device with the voiceover screen reader. Voiceover is the screen reader that comes included on all Apple iPads, iPhones, and iPod touches. Mm -hmm. While voiceover is also available on Mac computers, its use is covered in the Mac voiceover course. Click the link above to go to that web page. As a screen reader, voiceover allows you to control your device, and it will read all of the items on your screen as you move the voiceover cursor. 
there are gestures that will control how you navigate, let you perform special actions on items, start and stop. So yada yada, audio. there's your overview. Let's go ahead and jump by heading just to see what else is on this page. Intended audience heading level three. So we get your intended audience again. Materials needed heading level Materials three. Materials needed. What do we need? This course requires an Apple device such as the iPad or iPhone. Yep. Heading level three course objectives. There is your course objectives. We got a bunch of those. Voice over heading level three. And we got another voice As a screen over. reader, voice over can read the text on your screen. However, it needs to be turned on. First, there are three ways to start voiceover on any iOS device. Yep. Please follow one of the sets of instructions below. Heading level three, activate voiceover with the Siri Assistant. So you can do it, yeah, by Siri. Activate voiceover with the accessibility shortcut. The heading shortcut, level three. which hopefully should be inactive, but some devices they're not for some strange reason. Activate voiceover in the settings app heading level three. And the long way. So again, if you again if you're starting out for your, you're very very new to this. Again, you may either want to have an instructor, an experienced voiceover user, or a sighted person to kind of at least, like, get you, like, oh, yep, this is where you're supposed to be. Um, preferably somebody who actually uses the technology is, uh, you know, that's always good. Um, the one finger swipe heading level three. Voiceover will read the items on your screen as you move the voiceover cursor using the gestures you make with your fingers. To move the cursor and hear the next item on the screen, you need to. Swipe to the right with one finger now. To perform this gesture, you will need to touch away from the edge of the screen with one finger. And quickly slide your finger to the right about two to four inches in a smooth motion, as though you are flicking a coin across a table. Yep. Swipe right again now. Well done. That was a one finger right swipe and it moved the voiceover cursor from the previous line to the next line, and it read it to you. Swipe right again. It worked again. Okay great, as long as you keep making this gesture, voiceover will happily keep reading item after item until it reaches the last item and you hear a bunk sound telling you that there is nothing else to speak right that was great there is nothing else to yep. try it out and come back we will that was great you can also go backwards to hear something yep. again by Flicking swiping to left, the left with one finger yep so again this is your overview page i'm just gonna one finger gestures visited link so now we have like one finger gestures two finger gestures link the magic tap link the rotor gesture link Three and four finger gestures like how the camel got his hump link. <laughs> Special items in the iOS. And each one of these are going to go through your exercises and they're going to have you, um, you know, do little challenges and little practice items throughout each lesson, just like we did for NVDA. So again, it's very informal, very conversational. Um, and it starts from building from the very basics onto more advanced skills. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to go through like the Mac and JAWS and everything, but I just wanted to show you, so we've got a mobile, uh, I wanted to show you one mobile thing and I wanted to show you one computer, uh, type of training and to wrap things up, I just want to see what they have in here for lesson 6.1 link, navigating the web, heading level one voiceover on iOS. Okay. Getting let's back up one here. Oh wait. Uh, hold on. Let's heading just level do one, this. Link jump to main list with seven item link voiceover gestures. Visited link SRT home. Yeah, let's go home and make sure we're home. Link vo li li link iOS voiceover. Link Mac voiceover core. Link contact CSBSR. Link, link iOS voiceover touch screen practice. Link voiceover braille support. Link voiceover keyboard command. Link voiceover gestures. Visited link SRT home. I thought we went SRT home here. S. Out of list link jump to main content. List with seven items visited link SRR home. Link voiceover gestures. Huh, why are we... Out of list, link jump to main con list with seven items visited, link SRT home. Link voiceover gestures, link voiceover keyboard command, link voiceover braille support, link iOS voiceover touch screen practice, link Mac voiceover course, Let's NVDA go lesson 1.1. Back again. Out of list, visited, link skip to main content. List with four items, SRT, list, vis link contact, C link game portal. Yeah, so it was still, like, even though I would go home, it was still giving me all the voiceover stuff on the left. So it's like it, um, but it wasn't giving me the main, main menu on the left here. So, yeah, I want to, I just want to see what they portal. put under the, the game, game portal. portal. Heading level one, the game portal. List with six items visited link SRT home. Practice with all elements list with five items link escape room one. Secret codes. Link haunted house maze. Link another escape room. Riddle me this. Link design your own guide animal. Link oh, that's Link design cool. your own spaceship out of list. Reading navigation practice list with one item link the library. Out of list. So let's... Main landmark, welcome to the game portal, heading level two. Let's see what, yeah, let's see what the, how they describe this. Heading level two, welcome to the game portal. Graphic room in the game portal full of game controllers, a huge TV screen, 
and a gaming computer setup. Have some fun, come in and explore. There are escape rooms, and puzzles galore. The game portal is a place to practice your screen reader skills through play. There are escape rooms and out of this world forms to order your very own guide animal or a high tech spaceship to travel the universe. Enjoy yourself, the management. Thank you for using these pages. Please contact us with comments and suggestions by clicking the contact us link. So you won't really want to go to this until you have mastered a bit of your screen reader. So again, these are, um, you know, this is kind of your reward. You, you get through the actual training. And even then, they kind of have elements of your, your puzzles or escape rooms um, in the lessons themselves. But now this is more of like a fun-focused area. So, you know, get through your lessons and then you can... Uh, Play some fun little games. Heading so level let's one, just portal. go ahead List and... With six items. Practice with all elements. List with five items. Link escape room one. Secret codes. Let's just start with escape room one. I just want to start reading a little bit of it and see what uh, see what these are like. CSB escape one. Heading level one. Welcome to the CSB escape room. Explore the space. Can you find all the puzzles? These pages have been built to train and entertain, so please have fun. Heading level two. How to play. Use your screen reader's navigation commands to explore these pages, find new things, solve the puzzles, and finally escape by completing the last task. Remember that you can read the text by letter, word, or line. There are always links at the bottom of the screen for you to review the commands and gestures used by the most common screen readers. Poem. I can move faster than a cheetah. I rush from left to right. I fill up spaces which are dry, and run all through the day and night. What am I? Wait a minute. What was that? That sounded strange. I think this may be your first puzzle. Go back and explore the text you just found and when you are done, navigate to the correct answer below and select it to move on. Heading level 2 select a link. Link sleep, link a cat, link water, link about CSB screen. Huh, okay. Link, 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 and run all through, I, 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 poem. By the most common screen readers, poem. I can move faster than a cheetah. Move faster than a cheetah. I rush from left to right. Okay. I fill up spaces which are dry. Uh... And run all through the day and night. Blank. What am I? That's a mighty fine question. Um, I, I rush from left to I can move faster than a cheetah. Move faster than cheetah. I rush from left to right. Left to right. I fill up spaces which are dry. Fill up so... I mean, water can flow in any directions, not just left to right, so I don't think it would be water. And run all through the day and night. Okay. Blank. What am I? Wait a minute. What That's, was that? Uh... That sounded str Go back below and select it. Blank. Heading level 2. Select a link. Link sleep. Link a cat. Uh, I don't think it would be a cat. Link water. Link about CSB screen reader. Link water. Link, link sleep. Um, I don't know. Because, like I said, water doesn't move left to right. It, you know, it depends on, you can... Sleep is... Link, link sleep. I'm gonna say sleep. CSB escape room incorrect one. Heading level one, oh no. Something went wrong. I think you chose the wrong answer. Use the go back link to try again. Visited link, go back. Link, visited link about C. Visited link, go back. CSB escape room. Okay. Explore the space. Can you find all the puzzle? Sleep visited link, a cat link. Water link. Then it's gotta be water. CSB escape room scene two heading level heading level one wow you made it through congratulations I don't know how they I mean I guess that doesn't fully make sense to me heading level two for your next task examine the reverse alphabet cipher key below ooh use it to decrypt the message and find the answer so you can move on a decryption cipher ooh interesting the key to the code is a equals CB equals YC equals XD equals WE equals VF equals UG equals TH equals SI equals RJ equals QK oh equals dear PW Lord. equals OM equals N. The message is ZYZMWLMH. Find the answer and click the link to move on. Okay, so you are clearly going to have to be doing a lot of reading by letter and by word and by line to figure that one out. And I'm going to let you guys figure that one out on your own. So... Yeah, I, I really like the straightforward nature. Again, you don't need a lot of tools. Everything is totally free. You can do it within your browser. And um, except for JAWS, everything, you know, your NVDA, your voiceovers, ChromeVox, those are all free. You know, I mean, you could get the JAWS demo, but then, of course, you're limited to 40 minutes and having to reboot all the time. 
Um, but I like the approach that they're taking here. And I was, I thought there was, when I was checking this out, you know, I got the link through work and I was thinking that it was just going to be like, oh, they were going to like give you a sample here. And then, you know, you pay either uh, a flat fee to gain, to gain access or you pay for a subscription. No, this, um, this whole website appears to surprisingly be totally free of charge. <clears throat> so yeah, if you are wanting to learn a new screen reader, improve your screen reader skills, learn a new screen reader in addition to the ones you already do know, um, or if you are a trainer, uh, instructor, vision teacher, uh, service provider, whatever, or just a family or friend of somebody who might benefit from using a screen reader, um, I would say this is a pretty darn good uh, getting started point. So again, this is the SRT website, the screen reader training website from the school for, or the California School for the Blind. Uh, very cool resource, and I hope they're able to continue keeping this updated because I think a lot of people could benefit from it. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Hopefully this gave you an idea of what the website is like and what you'll find here. Hopefully maybe it'll give you some incentive. It'll give you some uh, motivation, encouragement to, uh, you know, check out um, a website like this and uh, maybe learn a screen reader that you're not uh, familiar with or improve your skills because uh, technology... Uh, technology literacy and just being able to use a computer and a mobile device uh, to be successful to really be employed in any type of job these days computer and keyboarding skills are absolutely required and so it's great to see a resource like this out there I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can check that out for yourselves hope you guys enjoyed the video um, give it a like if you did follow me on Twitter slash X at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. So thanks again for watching. Thanks to the uh, California School for the Blind for creating this pretty cool resource. And until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.